going on beautiful people and welcome back to Peace Love Happiness 101 and today we have another phenomenal video for you guys. Knowing that we are still in the month of September and we have approximately three more months to go until the end of the year. I know that 2020 hasn't been good for a lot of us, but the good thing we could say is that we are still alive. Which means at this point we have no other choice but to be grateful for our lives and to be grateful for the people around us. Because as long as we're still breathing, there's still gonna be hope. And with hope, we could definitely build a better future. All right, all right, this is one of those questions that for some reason people still want to know about them. For some reason people are still talking about them on social media, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere you go, people are still trying to find the best way to blame social media for some reason. So today I feel like it's a good day to talk about is social media bad for your relationship? Is social media bad for your relationship? We're gonna talk about facts. Factual actions, factual reactions, things that have happened within the social media platforms that could help us determine if social media is actually the real problem. The first thing that we have to talk about is the people behind the social media platform. We're not gonna go ahead and then give you guys a real answer yet. We're gonna talk about the people behind the social media platforms. For instance, I read the other day, this lady said she's gonna shut down all the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere she has social media, Twitter, whatever it is, she's gonna shut it down. And the reason she wants to shut it down is because she wants a fresh start. And I'm sitting here thinking about, okay, she wants a fresh start. She doesn't want to be dealing with any social media. And as I was reading in the comments, I also find out that she's been doing telling her business back and forth on social media. People didn't like or didn't really react the way she expected them to react. So that basically gave her the conclusion to shut down her social media. Right there, you already have the answer, but we could basically talk a little bit more about it. The second part is about people entertaining the wrong people on social media. If you are entertaining the wrong person on social media while you're in a relationship, you already know at some point it's gonna catch up to you. There's no if but about it. There's nothing to even think about. You don't need to do some math. You don't need to basically go into the entire process of trying to put a gadget into it. This is just the truth. If you keep entertaining the wrong guy, at some point, the truth's gonna come out. So by the time that your boyfriend or girlfriend finds out that you've been talking to the wrong person, at some point, something bad's gonna happen to the relationship. And social media basically is a platform. Social media doesn't have fingers, social media doesn't have hands, social media doesn't have thoughts. People go on those platforms and put their business and expect the best thing to happen to them. If you don't want your relationship to get affected by social media, my option for you is to not put any of your business on social media. Just that simple. I don't have anything else to advise you on that point. Because if you do not want anybody in your business on social media, the best way is to not put your business on social media. If you don't want your relationship to be affected by the commands of social media, it's best for you to keep your relationship off social media. For some reason, a lot of people find it okay to tell everybody their business and once everything goes south, they are telling people this is none of your business. You made it everybody's business from the point that you decided to write down you are no longer in a relationship with such and such or you don't want to deal with that person anymore. So everybody's gonna be like, okay, you don't wanna be with that person anymore, whatever the situation is, what happened this, what happened that. So at that point, you automatically invited people in your life, which is something that you could stop because at the end of the day, if you did not put people in your business, there is absolutely no way for people to be in your business. Social media have not done anything to any relationship. People have done that, yeah. You being in a place that you weren't supposed to be and somebody ended up getting a picture of you or send a picture to a friend and then your boyfriend happened to know that friend where you, where you were supposed to be dancing with somebody and then all of this happened. Social media just put it out there, which is something that social media is supposed to do. Just like YouTube, I come here every Wednesday and Sunday. I don't be talking about my personal life. I just come here for relationship advice. 
I give you guys a relationship advice that I think might be needed, give you relatable stories, talk to you guys about things that are probably going to be important, things that could actually help you in your relationship, and then I go about my business. That's it. Just that. Just that simple. So by you trying to shut down your entire life just because you think you need a fresh start because social media affected your life, social media has absolutely nothing to do with it. And the last one that I've seen people dealt with when it comes to social media is people being constantly on their phones like come on that has absolutely nothing to do with social media if you are constantly on your phone that means that you probably addicted to social media more than social media is doing something to you so you're probably going to need to work on yourself to put the phone down instead of blaming a platform just so we are clear on that social media is just a platform a platform available for anybody what you choose to do with it is your business just that simple if you choose to do things that you're not supposed to do and the person that you are in a relationship with happen to find you doing them, that is entirely your fault. Not social media. The same way that I am using social media and keep all my life private is the same way that you could use social media and keep your life private. Don't be out there telling people your story and expect people not to react. Don't be out there doing dirt and expect people not to see it. Because if there's one place that people could actually see your dirt is social media. As you can see, things that have happened in the past 10, 15 years from the time social media started, people are able to retrieve those informations, which means if you ever have a valid explanation of something that you did wrong in the past, my advice to you is keep it away from social media. Please keep it away from social media. Do not put it on social media. If you want that thing to be a secret, do not put it on social media. Don't talk about it. Don't put it on social media. Don't share it with anybody. Don't tell your friends to put it on social media. Whatever the situation is, do not put it on social media because the platforms are designed for one thing and one thing only, publicity. That's it, publicity. You might not have a bunch of people following you. There's still people watching. Despite the fact that you might not see people liking what you post, there are still people watching. Despite the fact that you don't understand what's going on after you post that video or after you post that comment, after you were all sentimental on the subject that could actually affect your life, there are still people reading, watching, and listening. So my suggestion to you right now is quite simple. Social media does not affect anybody's relationship. If your relationship is in the trash bag right now, this is your fault. Social media has nothing to do with it. And the best way for social media to not affect your relationship is to stop posting things about your relationship on social media. Keep your private life to yourself. Keep everything to yourself when it comes to things that are completely important. And social media won't have a say-so about it. I can promise you that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video to the fullest. Feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think about the video because I feel like at some point, some people might not agree with me. Some people might agree. I'm going to be waiting for those comments. I want to know what you guys think about the video. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. We'd like to thank each and every one of you guys who've been with us from the get-go. We appreciate the love. We appreciate the support. We appreciate all the comments on each post. And for those of you that are just coming in, we welcome you to the channel. Feel free to look around and don't forget to leave us a subscribe and hit the notification bell because we have so much more to show you. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.